Hey everybody, this is Mike Anderson with Collision Advice. I'm here with my great friend Danny with the DEG. And we're working with SERS to bring you a series of quick tips that will help you to boost your business. So today's tip of the day is about test drives. Now, first of all, it's important that we understand in the OEM repair procedures, they won't always use the term test drives. Some OEMs will use the word like drive cycle. Some of them will use the word uh, road test or action test or test drive. So there's multiple terms that are used by the OEMs in the repair procedures. The second thing is when we're talking about test drives or road tests, we need to think about what are the considerations. For example, what speed do I need to drive that vehicle at? Above or below 20 miles an hour, for example. The second is, what is the length of time I need to drive that vehicle? Like I might need to drive it, you know, for uh, more than 15 seconds or more than 20 minutes. Another example is also, what is the length of distance? So for example, do I need to drive it two miles or do I need to drive it 20 feet? Another consideration when it comes to test drives is also about the road conditions. For example, do I have to have lane markings on the roads? Do I need to have actual traffic signs for the cameras to validate with? Another thing is what's the driving pattern? For example, do I need to drive it in a straight line, a figure eight, or a circle? Another concern or consideration for road tests or test drives is also gear selection. Do I need to drive the vehicle forward or do I need to drive it in reverse? Ladies and gentlemen, when it comes to test drives, these are often required for safe and proper repairs. Now I know what you're wondering, is that something I can charge for? Is that included? Well, let's see what Danny has to say. Thank you, Mike. Test drives is considered a not included operation in most collision repair uh, scenarios. The only time a test drive may be considered an, an included would be to verify an alignment after it's been performed if you're utilizing the alignment book time in one of the three major systems uh, labor time guides. Otherwise, a test drive for uh, verification or for diagnostic purposes is not included. Again, all this information is available on the DEG's website, www.degweb.org, and again, in the estimate toolbox under the appropriate information provider. There we have it from Danny. Remember, test drives are critical to a safe and proper repair. So follow the own repair procedures. Thanks for joining us today.